morning everybody. We're here at my brother's shop, DiMartino Motorsports. Today I'm going to be doing an oil change on my 2017 F-150 and I'm going to try to answer the question as to what the fuel dilution issue is with these trucks. Um, we've got 27,000 miles in change. Today I'm going to do an oil change using Cashel Magnatec and pulling an oil sample and send it off to Blackstone Labs. So in a minute here, we're going to get this done. Just to tell you where I'm at, the history on this truck. I like to change oil at 50% because I was waiting for this kit from Blackstone. This time it turned out to be 47%, which is unusual. Usually I'm running the money. So I've got 27,634 miles and I'm at 47%. I changed this oil at... 25,459 and that was on 39 of 19 and I did that here so this oil doesn't even have uh, we got 2300 miles on it not even and it's already at 47 percent now previous to this I've been driving the truck a lot this last time I haven't driven it much it's it's sat quite a bit but a lot of most of these miles are to and from work so it, dry, it runs for 35 minutes straight not a lot of stop and go, but uh, with only 2,300 miles on the oil, we'll see how the sample comes back. Um, to give a history on this truck, I change oil every 5,000 miles at the most, or 50% oil life, whatever comes first. Um, and I'm meticulous on my maintenance. I did my first oil change at 1,700 miles. At 1,700 miles, 51 hours, and at 6,500 miles, 200 hours, then at 11.7, 351 hours, 16.8, 500 hours, and then I did this one at 21.866, and I don't think I wrote the hours down on this one, but I have it because I uh, take a video of each one. Then from 21.866 to the current one. At 25 459 so the trucks had regular maintenance since it was new and if there's any issue with the oil it's certainly not due to lack of maintenance and I've always used the motocraft filter I've never used anything else the FL 500 s and I've always used cash flow magnetic full synthetic 5w30 and let me change the air filter this time too it's not dirty but and change it so you see all this goes on the inside all set here we're going to pull this out midstream Here we go. Okay. We got our sample. This will get sent off to the lab. We'll see how this goes. Take it from there. Time to get the oil filter off now. Time to put the skid plate back up. The final step is to add six quarts of oil using Cashel GTX Magnatec 5W30 full synthetic.
we're wrapped up here. I'm gonna send the oil out to Blackstone. We'll see what the results are. Take it from there. These tornadoes just clear this lift. Okay, so here it is two weeks later. I got my results back from my oil sample and I'll go over them with you now. Um, just wanna say real quick, everything was fine and uh, no issues with this thing at all. No fuel dilution to speak of. But again, I only had less than 3,000 miles on the oil and um, the monitor was dropping really quick this time and I don't know why. So I'm gonna follow Blackstone's advice and go to 6,000 miles on the next oil change and I'll sample again. We'll see what that gets us. So anyhow, there's my truck. And um, here's the results of the oil sample. Hope everybody has a great day. Here is the oil analysis, the report. Um, my truck, obviously I pulled out my information, but the, all the wear of metals were low. I mean, everything was good. There's nothing here to indicate there's any issues and well is doing well and basically the report says that different oil life monitors use different criteria blah 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 this oil could be run a lot longer than I've run it here at least 47 percent longer if not more so um, our averages show typical wear from this type of ego boost for 6,000 miles of the oil uh, this is what we suggest your next oil change, even if it takes a while to get there. Your metals are low and nicely balanced. No fuel or coolant is present. And insoluble show very good oil filtration. Nice F-150. I'll take that. Thank you. And that's it. So that puts this to bed for me for now. Uh, I'll go 6,000 miles, and we'll see what happens. And take it from there.